Welcome back. Milkshake and I loved watching the story together. And now I'm going to be showing Milkshake how to match analog and digital times. So Milkshake, find a good spot where you can watch. Okay. Your practice set for today is asking you to match the pictures with the clocks. So beside A, we have someone who's playing soccer. Soccer practice is at 3.30. So what you're going to do is you look at the first column, remember, column goes up and down, and you're matching it with either the digital or the analog clock in the next column. So 3.30, I have to fit, find the clock that reads 3.30. Well, this one says 5.30 or half past five. 3.30, oh, I think it's this one, but let me read all the clocks. <clears throat> 6.30. 4.30, 6 o'clock, and 7.30, or half past seven. So I think I'm right. I'm going to draw a line to match 3.30, the digital time, with the analog clock. Brush my teeth at 7.30. Let's see which clock says 7.30. Oh, I remember. It was this clock at the bottom. Now, I'm gonna get you to press pause and complete the rest of the page on your own and then press play when you're ready to check. Great, let's check the next one together. Wash dishes at six o'clock. So let's see, no, that's 5.30, 6.30. Well, this one was 4.30, oh, here's six o'clock. I know it's the only o'clock time that we have on here because the minute hand points straight up. So I'm gonna match those clocks. Eat dinner at 5.30. I eat dinner at 5.30. I'm going to match it to the analog clock. Take the bus home at 4.30. Oh, I found the clock that says 4.30. Now let's check my last one. I do homework at half past six o'clock. Now, it doesn't say six o'clock, it says half past. So I know that that means the minute hand has gone halfway around the clock, which means it's pointing to 30 minutes have passed. It's pointing to the six. So 6.30 is half past six o'clock. Great job. Share your day. Parents, have your child draw pictures of themselves doing various activities at different times of the day. Help them write the time on each picture. Write your time using a digital clock and an analog clock. So for example, if I were going to tell about something that I did today, I would say, I feed my dog breakfast at 7.30 in the morning. I would draw myself feeding my dog breakfast, and then I would draw an analog clock similar to this, and then write my time digitally. So I would draw my clock with the hour hand halfway in between the seven and the eight, and my minute hand pointing down halfway around the clock to the six. So this would say 7.30. Now you would read the digital time as well, 7.30. The hours would be on the left-hand side, the number of minutes that have passed in that hour is on the right hand side. You could read it 7.30 or even half past seven. Now I would like to show you how to draw your analog clock because I think this will be the most difficult part of this activity. So the first thing you need to do is draw a large circle. You need it large enough that you have room to write your numbers around the clock. Then I know at the top of the clock is what number? The 12. What number goes to the bottom of the clock? You're right, it's a six. I'm gonna put a dot to help me remember where the center of the clock is at the center of the circle. The right-hand side, do you know what number goes on the right? A three. And what number goes on the left of the dot? the nine. So this is how I would start 
my clock. Then I would go around and I would need to fill in the missing numbers about equally spaced apart. So from 12, then I say one and two, three is already written for me, four, five, six is written, seven, eight, nine is already written, 10, 11. So if I am writing my time for 7.30, I know 30 means that half of my minutes have gone by. So my minute hand should be pointing to the six. That's my long hand. Now my hour hand, what number should it point to? I'm glad you did not get tricked. I should have started and I see where the seven is and I go halfway in between the seven and the eight. And I'm gonna put a little dot there to help me remember. And my hour hand, which is the short hand, is halfway in between the seven and the eight. Now I know that this is probably going to be the most difficult part of the activity and don't expect to draw, draw your analog clock perfectly, but just do your best. The more you practice, the better you will get. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be able to share your picture with me. I cannot wait to see it. Let me explain how. Share your work. Once you have illustrated an activity that you do, and then you have written your time digitally and drawn your analog clock to match, you will be able to use your camera to scan this QR code, or you can click on the link on the lesson page to go to Flipgrid. And then you can video yourself sharing your picture with me. You'll just hold it up in front of your computer or hold it up in front of your camera, and you're gonna be talking to me and sharing about your day. Now, I would like for you to do at least one activity with your matching digital and analog clocks, if you want to do more and tell me more about your day, I cannot wait. So please tell me about your day and share that. I would love to give a shout out for the Shape Hunt sharing. We had three students who shared some great work. They were the first three that shared their shape hunts with me, and I was so excited to see them. I wanted to give a, clout, a shout out to Clara Bell, who made an organized list of her shape hunt. Amelia W., and she had a cute unicorn horn in the shape of a triangle that she found. And then ER are his initials, he actually had put some stickers with glasses, so it made him look like he had glasses on. Um, but he showed in his notebook his shape hunt. So I hope that I can give you a shout out for sharing your work with me. Let's review our I can statement for today. I can tell time to the hour and half hour using digital and analog clocks. I can't wait to see you tomorrow when we're continuing to practice using analog and digital clocks to the hour and to the half hour. A huge thank you goes out to It's About Time by Stuart Murphy, posted by Jamie Simone on YouTube, Flipgrid, Richmond Math by Richmond City Public Schools, and Eureka Math by Great Minds. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow.